Well, howdy friends. If I sound a little different today, don't worry. Uncle Leafy just drank stronger coffee this morning. Let's settle this hydroponics versus soil battle once and for all. Grab your boots, grab your brain, and let's get growing. Now, don't get your roots tangled, folks. People keep asking me, Uncle Leafy, should I stick with soil or switch to this fancy hydroponic thing? Well, today, we're settling that question once and for all. Grab your overalls and your curiosity. Let's dig in. Welcome back to Uncle Leafy's farm, where machines roar, lettuce grows like crazy, and every farm fail turns into a life lesson. Today, we're diving into two ways to grow. Classic dirt versus space age water farming. Let's find out which one fits you best. Part one, what are we comparing? Soil farming, that's what I grew up with. Real dirt, earthworms, cow manure, yeah, the whole smelly package. You dig a hole, say a prayer, and hope nature plays nice. Hydroponics, on the other hand, feels like farming in a sci-fi movie. No dirt, just water and nutrients on tap. Looks fancy, feels fancy, and yep, it grows fast if you do it right. Think of it this way. Soil is like campfire cooking. Hydroponics, it's your smart kitchen with Wi-Fi and an espresso machine. Part 2. Cost comparison. Who wins the wallet war? Hydroponics costs more upfront. Trays, pumps, lights, timers, maybe even beep and sensors like a spaceship. Heh. <laughs> I spent more on my first hydro setup than I did on my first pickup truck. Not even joking. Soil farming. You can get started with a shovel and a dream. But here's the kicker. Soil gets expensive later. Fertilizers, pest battles, weed wars, and trust me, crabgrass shows no mercy. So, if you're tight on budget now but okay with long-term hustle, go soil. Got a bit of cash and love clean setups? Hydro might be your jam. Part 3. Water Usage which one's greener? Hydroponics uses up to 90% less water than soil. That's a fact. Your plants sip, and the rest gets recycled. It's like a spa day for roots. With soil, you water and pray the roots drink before it all runs off or evaporates. And don't even bring up July heat waves. Heh, <laughs> my onions nearly boiled last summer. I still can't believe it. So, if you're living where water's tight, like Arizona or California, hydro might save your garden and your wallet. Part four, control and precision. Hydroponics is all about control. You dial in nutrients, pH, lighting. It's like flying a spaceship, only it grows kale. Soil has moods. One week it's perfect, next week it holds water like a sponge in a thunderstorm. With hydro, if something's wrong, you fix it fast. With soil, sometimes you don't even know there's a problem until your lettuce looks like leftover salad. Part 5. Learning Curve and Maintenance. Hydro ain't set it and forget it. You gotta check pH, monitor EC. Make sure your pumps ain't taking naps. It's like babysitting for spinach. Soil's simpler. Dig, water, wait. But it hides problems. Bad drainage, compacted roots, sneaky fungi. Like one of those surprise quizzes you didn't study for. If you love gadgets and graphs, hydro. If you love mud and mystery, soil. Part six, scalability. Hydroponics scales beautifully. From a bucket on your windowsill to a greenhouse empire. 
You can even grow vertically, like salad skyscrapers in New York. Soil. You'll need space, tools, and a strong back. Great for rural folks or anyone with a backyard and a good chiropractor. Want to grow herbs in a closet? Go hydro. Want to plant 200 feet of corn? Stick with soil. Simple as that. Part 7. Uncle Leafy's Verdict. Me? I say, why not both? I've got basil growing in a cracky tub next to my TV and pumpkins out back that wrestle raccoons every night. Well, hydro is fast, clean, fun. Soil is rugged, real, and forgiving. In the end, it comes down to your budget, your climate, your patience, and whether or not you like talking to your plants. Heh, <laughs> I do. They never talk back, but they sure listen. Still undecided? Let me know what you're growing in the comments, and I just might shout you out next time. Like this video if your plants have ever ghosted you. Subscribe if you want smart farming, bad jokes, and a little honest talk. Only here at Uncle Leafy's Farm. Till next time, farm smart, stay leafy.